It's a big shame because we want to be part of the solution. What do you mean, we? You're with me, aren't you? You believe in liberal democratic values, don't you, Asha? I, I, can, I, I am a conservative Muslim. I do, do believe, believe in... in democratic values, but I don't completely agree with the liberal values because... Um, I think that sexuality would be sinful. Um, no, but that, that's fine. You don't want to enforce your well, opinion on others, though, do you? No, of course not. But the there you are. So you're on the you're on the liberal democratic side of this. You may be conservative, but you know you're no different to Jacob Rees-Mogg. You know he he's not an extremist, and nor are you. But the point is, the minute you want to say one day I want a caliphate that punishes gays and criminalizes them, then I've got a problem. But that's not the issue. The issue is killing people. The issue no, do, is no. People. Do you aspire one day to a a, a Sharia state that will criminalize and outlaw homosexuality? Yes, I do, because eventually, <laughs> I think that would be, that w I, I, don't, I don't actively aspire to it, but I eventually, eventually, and you would know this because you're in his battery, you were in his battery. Yeah, and I reject that all those ideas, is. and the difference is, you I, don't. Do, do, would you, you, okay, you aspire to one day, you aspire to a caliphate that would criminalize and punish homosexuality. What about adultery? Do you aspire one day to a Sharia-compliant state that punishes homosexual, uh, adultery? If, if it, if it, um, put, the, if the necessary, um, um, in, you know, the principles were in place, and, um, then I would agree with that, but... With punishing adultery? I, I actually, of course, I think adultery is disgusting. Yeah. Okay, and what's the, what's the, what's the punishment? Um, okay, so, look, as someone who's grown up no, in this no. country... No, I no, don't look me, Aisha. If those ideal Sharia conditions are met, as you've just said, what should the punishment for adultery be? Your stoning well, then, death. I'm not trying to evade your question. You believe in stoning people to death? It's, 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 part, it's, it's part of the Sharia, it's part of the hudud. You can't deny that as a Muslim. Yes or no? Right. In an ideal Sharia compliant state, do you believe in stoning adulterers to death? Okay, okay. I will answer your question if you agree that th those compliance, those actual, um, the, the, the boundaries of what you need to prove, the burden of proof is so high that it would never actually be done, right? It, you it, agree with in that? an ideal, when the burden of proof is met and all the Sharia conditions are complied with in an ideal Islamic state, do you endorse the stoning of adulterers to death? Yes, but I, uh, in principle, however, I don't believe that it would ever happen because the burden of proof is so high. Mm, mm. I well, I tell you what, Aisha, I tell you what, I thank you for, um, for, for continuing this conversation because you've just demonstrated precisely why you and people like you who sympathize with your kinds of ideas can never be part of the solution. That's worse, Aisha, than the BMP. The BMP don't believe in murdering people for mistakes or choices they make in their personal lives. Uh, sometimes they're not even mistakes like so-called apostasy laws and blasphemy laws and punishing people for leaving the religion. That's free choice. People like you will never be part of the solution until you abandon those ideas. I'll continue talking to you. You're not my enemy, but you're certainly not part of the solution because the ideas and the values you believe in are worse than Tommy Robinson's. They're worse than the EDL. Uh, they're definitely worse uh, than anyone who claims to be populist right Trump. They're worse than the BNP because these guys don't go around advocating by law murdering people for personal choices. They may have unpalatable ideas, but you idealize murdering people uh, for making personal individual choices that have happen not to agree with your definition of God's law, and that can never be part of the solution. That's Aisha there from Manchester. You're listening to Majid Nawaz. How do you respond to that? The time now on LBC is 118.